All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It's DeMont coming back at you again. I got um, another package from AliExpress. It seems like they are coming a lot faster than Nook used to come. Um, and like I said on a couple of my other videos ago, um, if you're willing to wait a week or two, you can usually save a good amount versus buying stuff from Ali from Tackle Warehouse and places like that. Now, might not always be the same, but it's very similar. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get in here. Um, some of the stuff from AliExpress I prefer to some of the mainstream stuff. And this right here, okay, this, I wasn't sure which reel this one was. And this looks like it is the, I think it's called a Jati, or Let's finish getting this open so we can take a look at me. Get the knife out of the way before I cut myself. I feel like I've been doing that a lot lately, and still all taped up. I mean, they package these things really good, and it seems like the shipping, especially they start, they start doing like combined shipping. They like they bring it over here. And they get to, I think, usually in New York, and then they add, like, items of yours together. And when they come in, and then they send them to you. All right, we got all that stuff out of the way. So this is the Jatari, or Jatai, or whatever it's called. And it is the Cast Play Smooth Wrap Design Light um, <laughs> Ratchet Exact <laughs> Bearing Precise. Um, this is supposed to be an all metal frame reel. It's supposed to be using Japanese bearings. So let's, and it's called the cast play. Uh, I'm gonna link it down below where I got off AliExpress. But this reel here, I think was, I think it was 40 some dollars at the time I bought it. And now it's like 50. Oh, it looks pretty good so far. We'll set this here. I want you to get that thing out of there. Okay, so your paperwork is in here. I'm pretty sure it's mostly in Chinese. But I like to get it out and just take a look at it anyway. Just see if it says anything different. Just going over the features in Chinese. Just going over how to use it and spool it in Chinese. Um... Yeah, I think y'all get the gist. Okay. So what we got here, let's take a look. There are new Chinesium reel, eight to one. You don't see that right there. All right. I'm noticing right out the gate, it is really smooth. And what this reel is really rem reminding me of is a loose Prolite. Um, it feels heavier than a pro light, but the design and the smoothness and it actually has like a loose line guide in there. See it? Let me see if I can get the middle so you can see it better. All right. Let's go over some stuff. The thumb bar feels very solid. I mean, very solid. No play. No drag clicker. Well, the drag store is already locked out. But drag store actually feels really nice. It has a very nice positive sound and click to it. You know exactly what's going on with it. But the spool tension knob does not click. That's a dumb bound downer. But it's got very nice knurling on it. It feels really nice when you put your fingers on it. That's what she said. Anyway, all right, so pull and turn, it says. Well, that's actually a push and turn. All right. Yeah. The original pictures didn't really show what kind of brakes it has, so I guess you see it has eight mag tracks. They're kind of positioned different than normal mag tracks are positioned, but it still pretty much does the same thing. This being one. Let's see how far out it goes. 
Uh, head travels a fair decent. I mean, fair. I'm trying to, it looks odd. Sorry, guys. I'm just kind of figure something out here. It looks like the magnets aren't seated in there very good. Like they want to pop out. It moves really easy, but you can watch. I can, I can move these down. Hmm. It might not affect it at all, but they're not coming out, so that's one thing about it. But you can just tell it might not have the best quality control because these magnets are not putting their not putting their even at all. I don't know how that really affects it in the grand scheme of things, but there it goes. See, it popped out. I knew it would. Y'all see it? The whole damn magnet just popped out. Hmm. Yep, I can't even pull the whole damn thing off. Actually, there's a magnet on top of a magnet. What the hell? Okay. What is going on with this damn thing? It's like the whole thing is turned. Y'all see that, miss? There's another magnet behind the blade here. Okay, so how'd that just happen? God, dog, that was crazy. Okay, um, that is strange. So the magnets just come out freely. And it's like I was messing with the magnets over here. I guess they popped out over here where they came from originally. When I set it back down, it came over there. Yep, that's what happened. But I just did it again. So the magnets over here are loose. Um, I wonder if they'll come out on the spool. That is crazy. I have never seen that on Chinese or American. Or magnets just pop out that easy. Let's turn it all the way up. Let's see if it comes out. All right, here we go. Yeah, I do see there. That's a Japanese bearing. You can tell by looking at it. It's coated in fucking grease, though. I'm sorry. I don't mean to. I have to wash my mouth. Sorry, guys. Um. Yeah, I don't know. It's not coming off on the spool, so I guess that's a good thing for it. But dang. Okay, so. Bring it back down. Okay, so let's get some specs on this. I like how they attempted to make this empty, but, and these are thinner. What you use, you have a metal framed reel. That's where most like your, your American reels and things, you'll still have some of the same kind of problems with them, but as far as like getting them on your rod, I like how low profile the reel is, but gosh. Just me messing with it right there. It was smooth before, but now it seems even smoother. I don't really know what I did, but I did something. Okay, let's get some specs on this. All righty, all righty, all righty, all righty. I'm gonna say, holding this in my hand, um, 7.6. Let's see how good of a guesser I am. Well, shit. Okay. 6.9. <laughs> I was off. It feels more substantial than that. Um, but it's not. Okay. Let's get a good accurate weight on the spool. So we can kind of see just how 
light of a weight it's going to be able to cast. Um, if you guys have this for you, let me know what, if, your, if your magnets do the same thing this one does. Um, be interested to know. Spools 1404. I mean, for a standard deep spool, for it's not, it's not trying to be BFS. It's not saying you can cast light stuff. It's just saying that the reel is supposed to be made really good. Uh, don't know about that, but... Um, as far as fit and feel and finish of the reel, uh, the outside of the reel looks flawless. It feels really nice. It's very smooth, even though it's full of damn grease. Um, usually when you have a reel that's this full of, <laughs> look at that. They put a tattoo look <laughs> on the thing. Gosh. Ah, uh, China. Be funny. Actually, it looks just enough different from a tarantula that's not tattooed. It's just a teeny bit different in the pinchers there, in the, in the front part of it, I mean. Anyway, um, I mean, this reel looks pretty nice. Um, I'm trying to find the bearing count again on here. I thought it is it on the box? Um, design light, bearing precise. Right hand. That's all you're gonna get. Um, let me look over the reel one more time to see if I see it on here, just so I can. I'll have a link to the description down below, but it's kinda crazy that you don't see it anywhere on here. It, said, it does say cast play, and it does say ADC. Um, other than that, I don't have a clue what it is. I do know it's smooth. I do know it looks nice. Um, I'm disappointed how the magnets just pop out. I mean, it's kind of common play now for China to, to load the bearings up with tons of grease. Um, this thumb bar, even though it's plastic, well, I think it's plastic, it looks plastic, it's plastic, it is very, very sturdy, very nice. Yeah, like I said, it reminds me, reminds me of a loose. I mean, that's exactly what it reminds me of. All right, guys, if you're interested in this reel, like I said, I'm going to leave the description down below uh, where I got it from on AliExpress. Um, when I bought it, it was a teeny bit cheaper. Sometimes these things go on sale in and out. Just got to check it, see? Um, if you guys found this helpful, how about give me a thumbs up? Subscribe to the channel. I got some more reels coming, and then hopefully I'll be done with the gym. I have got almost all my mats in place. I'm trying to work on the home theater room. Wife has tells me I got projects I got to finish doing before I can get back out on the water. She says I got to stop leaving projects undone to go fishing. Uh, I don't like that, but it is what it is. And if you want to keep your wife happy, you got to do what she wants you to do. Anyway, guys, this has been DeMont. I'm going to sign off. Tight lines. So the next time we talk, see you on the next one.